So has this ever happened to you where you had this amazing idea that you wanted to make and then you kind of just forgot about it for like four months. But anyways, so Rollers has added a new racing template and I need to say that it's kind of impressing, but it shouldn't really be a starting place in my opinion. So you can see that this place uses PBR materials, some really highly detailed assets and textures, and of course the main thing being the scar. And of course you can get into it. And this is some pretty advanced stuff. You can see that this car has a smooth camera, also the suspension, and this place has a racing mechanic. So I can go from one checkpoint to another, and of course do stuff like using nitro, and just drive around. And driving this vehicle is really, really smooth. And you guys kind of need to check it for yourself. Steering this vehicle is, like I said, really nice. Ignore the fact that I just crashed there. But let me just quickly finish the race. And I said at the beginning that this place shouldn't really be a starting place. And there is few reasons for that. So imagine that you are a new developer, right? And what really can you do? You have the track that you can move around and also the different track pieces right here. As well as these different checkpoints. And also the starting area. So the whole premise of this place is just you being able to put the track around and then just make a race. And what are you really supposed to get out of this place? You for example want to look at the scripts. So you go to the server script service and then look at the racing script. Okay, and then you don't have any comments explaining what different stuff does. So you don't really know what the collection service, the race manager and also the different methods and functions do. So you might be moving to another script. For example the race script. And then it's not any better because it's object-oriented programming. But at least it has some comments that aren't really new user-friendly. And then imagine that you wanted to change the number of laps that you had to do. And then you don't really see any settings anywhere. So maybe you look through the hold players. And this doesn't really seem like it has any settings. Except like these two variables on the top that you don't really know what they do. And compared to the old template, you can clearly see that this is the start finish. And then you also have these different billboards that give you instructions of what to do while also visualizing them. While this also tells you how to manage the terrain, for example. It gives you instructions on the checkpoints. And there is of course more, but I don't want this point to be to just look at the billboards. Like the old template is showing you how to use the tools in Roblox Studio, how you can manage the cars, the track and so on. So here you have an incentive to actually be creative and do stuff in the place where in the other one, you are just kind of left there. And what is really a new user supposed to do? You're not going to be able to really change anything with the race itself, so you're going to move to different stuff, like maybe the assets. So let's just say that you press on the cactus and then just look through its properties. So it has a mesh instance and a texture ID, while also having the surface appearance. And you are still not really going to understand anything because this is gonna tell you basically just nothing. You're not getting any hints on what to do, any tool tips, and this is why in my opinion this shouldn't really be a starting place. Like this is good for a tech showcase, but not for a starting place really. Like I don't know if you can hear this, but the car is actually making different sounds depending on how let's say the wheels are positioned. Or if anything is like colliding with the bumper, let's say. So you might be interested in maybe how something like this is made, right? So you go into the car and then look for the scripts. And then you see client server. Because you of course have to have the client controller and also the server logic. There is different stuff like the occupant, redresser and replication. If you are a new developer, you are of course not going to understand any of this. And same for the client controller. And there is also the camera module 
That makes the camera really smooth when you get into the car. And it's of course not really going to be intuitive. You have the camera enabled, you have VR service that we are probably going to ignore, and then a use of different events and enums. And then you let's say see the set mode function. So I move to this function, and then you get a module method. Okay, so you look through the camera modules. And what do we have in the camera modules? A table with some settings and parameters. And finally, it's something that you can actually change. So yeah, you probably just get the idea at this point. And I know that Roblox is trying to continually push new starting places, right? You had the modular city template, which was actually at least done properly, which was just a city without really having any other mechanics. While in this, you're not really going to know what's going on. And I know that Roblox is trying to continually push out new templates, right? Like, this is actually a good thing. And the modular city template also had different borders and UI explaining you how to do stuff and how stuff works. So why couldn't they put this effort into the racing place? Or at least categorize them into something like beginner places and let's say intermediate places. Like they are trying to, as they say, modernize the studio templates, but the starting places, they are there to actually just teach people. And they shouldn't be made as tech showcases. Like they are there for a new developer to understand the engine and get into actually developing or making games. It wouldn't have to require me to get into the dev forum to actually know how to change stuff, let's say with the car. And this is why I kind of think that Roblox is going in a wrong direction with basically this. And I've also found out that there is this guy right here that has all of these different templates from Roblox. And some of them aren't even available, for example this control point, inside of Roblox Studio. And just as a fun little note, I also have two starting places saved on my profile. This is the classic starter place with the happy home and also the brick battle map. So if you want to see how the classic places looked back then on Roblox, then these places are going to be uncopyloged and you can just download them. It's going to be under these three dots and then you just press on download or just edit in studio. And just as a quick showcase, this is going to be the classic starter place. After Roblox updates, of course. And even for something that came out in 2009, we still had the billboards giving instructions of what to do in the place. This is not really an instruction of how the engine works, but still. If I just drive around to this area right here, where you could make stuff with building tools. And even if you don't have any instructions right now, this was more intuitive than what we actually have right now with the racing place. And then there is also the classic brick battle map. And all of this is mostly broken, but you already had a ready template and like a lot of this open space that you could add stuff to. Where most of this stuff was actually left for your imagination, where Roblox's face was like powering imagination. And compared to the racing template now, there isn't really much imagination than just building a racing track. But yeah, that is basically going to be everything for today. So if you found this video informative, then you can leave a like. And if you want to support me, you can also subscribe to the channel or become a channel member for perks on my Discord server and my YouTube channel and also an asset pack for the tier 2 memberships. But anyway, that's going to be everything for today. So thank you guys for watching and see ya.